Hey guys, Coach Tanya here. Okay, so now that you have started your free trial, by this time you should have all your Facebook contacts pulled over, you should have all of your coaches and all of your customers from Beachbody imported into your Teamsy account. So let's go into our account and let me show you how to fully have it set up for success with utilizing this system. I mean, we're paying for the system, right? Might as well utilize it so we can be successful with it. So I have all of my people in here. I have my why is done. Everything is done and created. All of my people are in here. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you have everybody ranked. I know this is a little bit of a scary part because maybe you haven't spoken to everybody on your Facebook yet. But what I highly suggest is pour yourself a glass of wine, give yourself like about 30 minutes, 35 minutes, depending on how many people you have in your system. And I want you to click on the left side here where it says team. And then I want you to make sure that it is clicked to all. And then right up here at the top where it says rank mode, I want you to click that. Now your TeamZ system is in just rank mode, which means you are going to rank all of your people. So it is going to be your prospects, your customers, and your coaches are all going to come onto this list. Now, one thing I can tell you is Team Z does not duplicate anybody. So the only way you'll see a duplication is if they're in your customer list on Beachbody under one name and then Facebook, they're a different name. Then you can go in there when you're looking and you're like, oh, okay, I know they're a duplication. You can go ahead and delete that person. But what you want to do is the people that you know, now I have already ranked my people, so I just want to kind of show you. Um, the people that you do talk to, <clears throat> excuse me, the people that you do talk to on a regular, go ahead and rank them what you know their rank will be. Um, the ones that you don't talk to all the time, you can go ahead and keep them on a three for now. Now just remember, all the fours and fives are going to come up to be your first prospects and your first customers to talk to. Then it'll dwindle you down to the, to the threes. Um, so don't put everybody at a four and five because then you're going to do yourself a disadvantage because you're not going to be able to get through everybody. So you want to go through and scroll through and if it's somebody that you're like, okay, I know they're a duplicate because I know that they're already a customer. You can go ahead and click this delete button and then click yes. And you can get everything all organized. So when you're ready to start using this, it works. Now I want to share with you guys what I did because I was using a different system before and I'm sure some of you are using a different system, whether you're using a note card system or an Excel system. So what I did to get started, because I didn't want to lose momentum, I wanted to make sure my momentum stayed the same. So what I did was, I still worked off of my note card stack each day. And what I did is I worked that stack, and as I went through, if I found that what I, what I rated them at or ranked them at wasn't good enough, I went ahead and changed their rank, put the information in. But then it also helped show me how many people I was truly talking to in the day. So if I had to change my goals for daily, I could do that. So you don't have to start from scratch right when you start the system and feel like you're going to lose momentum of the people that you're already talking to. You can use your old system until you feel you've gone through everybody. So what I did was I used my note cards, and as I did those note cards, I threw them into a different box. And then once I went through my entire note card box, I just worked strictly off of Team Z um, to get it all in there, made sure it was organized, so I kept the same momentum. I didn't want to lose hitting Success Club 10 and things like that. Um, because I switched systems. So that is doable. And if you have more questions on that, feel free to message me or text me or call me and we could chat a little more in depth. But it's gonna take you about 30 to 40 minutes to get through all of your people. And the list just keeps going and going and going. Once you have them all in there and they're all ranked, then you can go ahead and get started with a few things. But I wanna show you a couple things with this system. Um, if you look on the on the side here, you have your coaches, your prospects, your customers. So if you want to just look at just those, you can click just those and you can rank them at a time. So if you want to rank your team first, because those are the ones that you should know off the top of your head, go ahead and rank your team first. Um, if you want to rank, you know, your customers first because you know them, that's fine. Go ahead and rank your customers. Here for the follow-ups, it'll show you your upcoming follow-ups and who you need to talk to um, for that day. Um, you also can tag certain things. And what I mean by that is if you have a specific event going on, like I have a holiday survival event, 
HS event for me is holiday survival event. So when I tag that, when I press that tag, here are all the people so far that I have tagged with that event that are in here. Obviously, as you can tell, I haven't tagged everybody. These are the people that I just wanted to make sure I followed up with on that event. So I had it in a specific way. You could set it up that way that if those are people that you sent orders to for that event and you want to make sure that you follow up with them, you could tag that event. You can also tag an orders sent tag. So if you've sent them an order using um, the Beachbody Coach Mobile app, you can tag that. So if you need to do a day where you're following up orders, if that's your time in your Beachbody business to follow up on orders, you can just click order sent and bam, you could follow up with those people that you've sent your orders to. Okay, same thing with sent samples. If you are a coach that likes to send out sample packets, but it's very hard to keep track of who you send samples to. This really organizes it a lot for you. So these are the people that I've sent samples to and the people that I need to follow up with. Um, I can actually take her out because she placed her order already. So I no longer need her under the sent samples of following up saying, did you try your sample? Did you like it? You know, are you ready to place your order and things like that? Um, you know, like this one right here, she loved her sample, um, but she was going away. So when she gets back, she's going to start. So I want to keep her under here so I can make sure I follow up with her. So these are the ways to organize your team Z. You want to rank your customers, your prospects, and your team, and you want to put any tags. So if you have like a system where you have written down a list of people you sent orders to, once you have them all imported into your Team Z, come up to the search bar here, type their name, and search for them. Like, I know I sent her an order because she was on that list. Write her name, and she's gonna pop up. Right in the tag section here, if you click and just type whatever tag you want, I already have tags in that name, but whatever you want it to be labeled, you label that, and then it will be a new tag. You can make as many tags. There's no maximum cutoff for tags that you can do in Team Z or anything like that. So that would be the next step is getting your Team Z organized and ready for you. Rank your people, tag your people, so then that way you can follow up better. Okay, so that's all I have for you right now on that. Get everything organized and we will do the next step right after this.